whatever your view is on life, who you are, where you are from, and why you are here, one thing is certain. Your physical body and non-physical mind or consciousness is on a journey of discovery. We must never stop investigating, never stop experimenting, never stop questioning. No fear, only love, no anger, only compassion and forgiveness. Cause this is just the way it's meant to be. This is just the way it's meant to be. This is just the way it's meant to be. This is just the way it's meant to be. I can't see how this system can survive. I can't see how the virtual AI reality they want to create can survive all this social crediting and all of this stuff like this nightmare dystopia they're building i honestly don't see how it can work because people are too creative people the spark of humanity is too strong the spark of freedom is too strong i mean the, the amount of people we're seeing push back now all around the world i don't think that um the human spirit will be squashed i think the parasites that are running this world have moved too quickly and uh, I, I don't think they're going to get away with it. I mean, maybe some will move into that, but I, I, it's, it's almost going to get to the point where the whole system is just going to collapse and, and implode in on itself, I think. I, I don't think the human spirit will allow itself to be squashed in this way. I don't think it's possible. I think we're far too creative. I mean, you've, you've got to also take into account I mean, what's already been done to us. If you look at our history and what's been taken from us, you know, the, the ancient history, Tartaria and things like this, and, and, and what we really had. I mean, sure, they've reduced us to a point of, of virtually slavery now, but this is the final final nail. This is the final screw they want to put in. And I think at that moment, the entire the entire water barrel is just going to burst when that last nail goes in and, and uh, humanity is going to rise. I really think that's what's going to happen. I think um, it may work for them. They might get sucked into that black hole, but uh, I think most of most of the people are going to choose freedom. I really do. I, I think that's what we're seeing in the world now. And they are forcing people to wake up. They're forcing people to adopt a little bit of self-responsibility. Because it's got to the point, I mean, you know, everyone's going, well, things are terrible someone should fix it which is always the, the thing you know someone should fix it not me but someone should and now the government's offering their fix and they're going well hang on i don't, I don't like this this isn't a fix you know maybe i might have to take a little bit of responsibility for myself and actually get out there and say hey no no we're not going to do this and that's what we're seeing you know and they're, they're forcing i mean they're, they're forcing people to putting their backs to the wall and i always said people will never see this and i never stand up to themselves until it comes to their backyard and their backs are to the wall and the government's doing that now. So I don't think that um, it's going to survive. Might might come in a little bit, but I don't think it's going to survive. I think the human spirit is way too strong. You know, I, I'm seeing more and more people get it. I mean, you know, so many people know that it's a fraud. This is what happens when you take all the power away from people. And you squash consciousness, consciousness into a box so that people don't know, you know, what to do. And then you give little bits of power to certain people and they, they sort of feel, oh, you know, they feel a little bit better about themselves and they like to exercise that power. You know, we've got a system that will search for that little spark of sociopathy in everybody and it will nurture that and, and, and cause that to grow and then give that person a little bit of power over others so it grows a little bit more. And people enjoy it. It makes them feel important if they can dob in their neighbours and, you know, they'll think that they're a good little person who's doing what the government said and they're upholding the law you know so this is some of the problems that i see in people well tartaria was everywhere and history is is fabricated completely fabricated all of it um we, we used to think well you know the dark ages we don't know what that is we realized that they invented the dark ages and just put that in there to put a whole bunch of stuff back in the past and we realize, you know, some of history might be wrong, but no, no, it's all fabricated. The whole lot is fabricated. I've often referred to the earth as a people farm. We're living in a people farm and people don't really realize it. I think of each country as its own separate pen. And what they've done now at the end, this is harvest time and they're stock taking. They've closed all their pens. They're doing their stock take and they're harvesting all those souls that they can get. And it's a, it's a natural progression from what happened in Tartaria. I mean, this will be the complete loss of human consciousness if they are able to lead us in there and actually able to get away with this. It will be the end of humanity. But when you really look at what we had, I mean, it's incredibly inspiring to see the art, to see the, the, the ancient history that's right there in our own cities. 
if you just go out and look around your city with the right eyes. You know, nothing makes sense. None of our history makes sense at all when you look at the, the timeline we're given and the stories that we're given. All you've got to do is step back and think about it and you realise that none of this is true and this culture, all of this stuff was here and we inherited it all. So they've had to bring it forward and move it forward because they're, they're running scared. And they look terrified too, these politicians. When you see them being interviewed on TV, they know that the people know they're lying. And they're getting out there and they're trying to still play their parts. But the, you look at the body language of them, they look terrified. They look scared to death that people are actually waking up. And the faster they push this, the more they're waking people up. So it's, it's all backfiring for them, I think, brother. People who have lost their power and they give all their power away to others and they believe that they are controlled. They believe they have owners and, and they, they comply with wrong behavior. They're willing to step outside their moral compass to, to comply with legislation, which doesn't really mean anything. You know, we're supposed to have law, which is put there to protect us. It's put there to prevent the causation of harm and to provide remedy when harm is caused. And yet now the law itself has become the main source of harm and people simply go along with it because it's the law. It's that belief itself. So ultimately, it's us. I mean, even when you look at all, all the rulers and the, 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 maybe some people say, well, they're not human or whatever. They've got reptilian souls or whatever. I mean, whatever, you know, but they look human and they, they, they're just men and women that are out there doing these things. And we're just going along with it. You know, it's this, this, this need for power, this greed, this loss of everything it means to be human, the, the loss of free energy, the loss of the abundance that we're connected to all around us which makes us believe we're in a state of scarcity, which makes us terrified and we've got to get more and more and more and more and more and be in control of everything so no one will hurt us. It's this, this, it's us, you know, it's us, it's all of us, you know, I mean, it's really hard to, to point the finger and say it's them and that's what a lot of people want to do, you know, it's back to the same thing, but I'm not prepared to change anything in me and stop complying with wrong behavior and just do the right thing in all that I do because if people did that, they would change the world in a day. If people stepped into their moral compass, refused to comply with anything which caused them to step outside their moral compass, we would literally change the world in a day. The whole system couldn't function if we didn't comply with our own behavior. So if people want to know who they is, they really just got to look in the mirror and look at the little smart device they're holding in their hand and realize what they're participating in. And if they were to stop do that, doing that, then it would all go away. No stake in the outcome, brother. I, I face infinity without flinching. To me, it's all a wondrous experience. And the reason darkness exists is because people ref refuse to shine light on the darkness. And many people who believe they're in a state of high vibration actually have a, an inability to be able to process certain forms of light because all information is light. It may be stuff that you perceive to be dark or negative, but it's simply information. And many people who sit there and say, I'm going to stay in a state of high vibration and keep my vibration high. I won't look at the darkness because that will bring me down. They're actually in a state of fear. You're in a state of, you're in a state of fear of actually looking at that because of the way it will make them feel. So they're in exactly the opposite type of vibration that they think they are. We can heal the darkness by simply casting light into the darkness. If you don't know a problem exists, you can never heal that problem. And that problem will continue to persist because of your refusal to look at it. When all you have to do is cast light on it and the problem goes away. It's really that simple. You can't have any stake in the outcome and you can't think, well, this is going to make me feel bad. It's, a, it's just a way of healing the situation. You know, you've got to be aware of both polarities of reality. There's the ultimate good as far as you can get it, and the most divine and, and magnificent good and, and joy and love that you could possibly feel. And there's the other side. And one cannot exist without the other. And the, the trick is to bring them all together. No stake in the outcome of any of this. You're only here for breath. You're here to heal this reality. You're here to gather the experience that comes to you and take it with you when you leave the realm. You know, and, and if you've refused to heal the light, or refuse to heal the darkness while you're here, refuse to ever look at the shadow, well, that's never been healed from yourself. We can heal the shadow, but we have to be aware the shadow is there and we have to be prepared to look at the shadow. The shadow will flee before the light, but you've got to be prepared to put that fear down that you have of actually looking into the shadow to begin with. You know, there's a there's a saying that if you you know if you look into the darkness you will become the darkness, but that's not really 
true. If you're spiritually inspired, when you look into the darkness, what you will discover is the level of good within yourself. When you see these dark things, you become outraged, but it's it's a, it's an empowerment. It's an empowerment sort of an outrage, and you've simply got to look at the darkness and, and tell it to flee. And it does. It goes away. It will run before the light that you cast on it if you're prepared to look. But you've got to put that fear down in order to do that. You've got to cross that threshold. That's what a lot of the New Ages and a lot of these so-called spiritual gurus aren't prepared to do. They're all in this hole, you know, where attention goes, energy flows, and I can't look at that because I'm creating it. No, you're actually creating it by refusing to look at it. You're, you're allowing it to persist by refusing to look at it. You know, and the fact that you've got to be there and, and ignore all this stuff around you shows you that you, you're putting all this energy into something you could simply heal if you were to look at it. Then it wouldn't be there. You wouldn't have to ignore it. You know, wolf or ignorance, willful ignorance is what uh, creates this problem. It allows it to persist. Thank you for listening to the China Jedi podcast. Set aside your filters of bias. The truth is your never talk. Do your own research. May the smile be with you.